There was a time when I used to love Bethesda. I was on the Bethesda Kool-Aid back in the day. I even went as far as making this channel originally to share my love of Fallout mods and Skyrim mods and modding in general before my youthful enthusiasm for gaming was slowly eroded by the greed and laziness of the gaming industry and has turned me into this bitter entity you see before you. Some of you may know there was a time when I was probably rallying the hardest against Bethesda when they released a horribly crappy Fallout 4. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna... Now, I ain't no optometrist, but maybe we should fit you for some glasses while you're here. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk... The I guess that explains how you're still alive. You're built solid as an oak. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just... And ironically, looking back now, Fallout 4 is a masterpiece compared to Fallout 76. And that's not saying much. It even calls into question, was Bethesda ever really that good? And now that I think about it, the answer is no. It wasn't. Hasn't this game been been finalized when you when you again it was it was I think the number tossed around was somewhere around a dozen uh, last year when when you were first starting to talk about it. So uh, how, how's that coming along that part of the project? Um, being that we are Bethesda, um, <clears throat> everything gets a bit big. So as of last week, we're over 200 endings. That is not an exaggeration. But at the time, the bar was so low, it was OK. You gotta like think of Bethesda like this. Bethesda was DSP gaming. Now hear me out here, stay with me. Believe it or not, back in the day, like 10 years ago, Darkside Phil was the man for a lot of people. People loved everything he was doing. It was great, it was funny. I never thought he was, but my friends did. Anyway you slice it, Darkside Phil was the hotness on YouTube. He was on the trending page with Linus Tech Tips and Onisan. Look how much has changed. Out of the three names I gave you, only one has stayed squeaky clean. The rest have turned into these weird, twisted monsters of themselves. Point B, Phil was so hot he could do no wrong. But now look at him. He's a hot mess. Meanwhile, well, thank you very much to the person who tipped me three dollars. Regardless of the fact that your name is three hundred dollar tip, and you're trying to tease me. I still appreciate the three dollar tip, so thank you. If I could get a three hundred dollar tip tonight, that would be freaking amazing. And it certainly would help me out this coming week. But much like Fallout seventy six is a big mess, a huge one. We all look at it and we laugh. Fallout seventy six is like the bar for the worst gaming possible in modern times. And what's DSP? The same exact thing. You don't want your stream to be like DSP. You don't want your YouTube channel to be like DSP. And then you look back at him and you think he was never that good. But at the time, the bar was so low. He was just fine. Hell, a dude could afford two houses. That's how good he was doing. You want to know how I'm living? I feel sick after eating this KFC. It was a very bad move. <laughs> I really regret this, but I was so hungry. <laughs> so let me get to point. I've been getting a lot of messages over the past month or two. People keep sending me Fallout 76 stuff. And I was kind of like, I'm done with it. You know, I don't want to look at Bethesda again until they release Elder Scrolls. That will be their chance to redeem some of my respect. And ignoring Fallout 76 entirely, I had no idea it was getting this bad. In fact, I, I probably can't even keep this in chronological order. But let's try. The last Fallout video of 2019. And hopefully in 2020, Todd Howard will, I don't know, put on his elf shoes and think about stopping this game because it's doing them no favors. In typical Bethesda fashion, they released a patch or an update around 19 days ago. This bug broke your armor and your weapons when you reloaded. Bethesda said it would be looking into the problem which was introduced in the latest update. And I could only think, I bet the people working at Fallout 76 are probably pulling out their hair and thinking, oh my God, why aren't the modders fixing this? Oh, that's right, it's an online game. 
what we tried to turn into a constant cash cow because Epic Games had Fortnite. So we were really hoping an online Fallout would be that sort of billion dollar franchise move. The bug was inconsistent, so sometimes you probably sit there and go, oh, well, I'll just log out, log back in. Oh, it's working, fantastic, then bug out again. I really have nothing for this. I don't feel like reading Reddit threads to figure out exactly what went wrong. It's simply Bethesda as a whole. I don't know who the genius was in the marketing team, but it was probably something like this. Of turning players into payers. We need games to service because that's pretty much what EA was talking about all the time. Every time EA did an E3, one of the CEOs or whatever would pop out in the ass nugget would sit there and talk about games as service consumers because it's all they care about is trying to put on some online garbage to get you to keep playing this trash that absolutely means nothing because once the next new game comes out, you're going to quit playing this. And the sad thing is all the shit you buy is intangible. So it's not like when the game dies, you could just sell your account and get the money back. Once it's over, it's over. Be wiser to spend your money on drugs. At least you have a good memory. Do you really remember what was your favorite skin in Fortnite? No, because odds are once that stupid Fortnite event was over, if you're caught wearing that skin, people will floss all over you for being a broke bitch. Oh my God, he's wearing last season skins. How passe. Oh. So gauche! My god. Remember when kids, if you wore like cheap shoes, you got made fun of? Now, if you're wearing like bad Fortnite skins, you're a loser. And Bethesda, seeing how much money there is to make, they decide to make Fallout 76 and fall flat on their ass. And my god, they can't even put out a single player game experience that isn't riddled with bugs. And for some reason, they're still pushing this. Pull the plug on Fallout 76, pull it out of its misery for god's sakes. There was also just a few weeks ago like two another issue where hackers found a way to add npcs to fault 76. the hackers even released a script online meaning you could google search it and use it yourself with a simple copy and paste my god if only a doll bay made stealing their programs this easy i'd love the company you bastards here's a funny tweet from hancock fault 76 has deteriorated so much the code is so unbearably shit that hackers can just straight up spawn items, including entire assets from Fallout 4. This is the Pridwin. The whole ass Pridwin just plopped in the map. Not my picture. That's amazing. Remember how when I first started screaming up and down the hilt, Fallout 76 was literally Fallout 4 online? A lot of people agreed with me, but some other people who were still drinking that Bethesda Kool-Aid actually rallied against me to say that I was trying to drum up uh, what the hell is it? Drama and exaggerating. Well, here's your exaggeration, you asshole. And the sad thing is I'll never get an apology. Oh, Gundam was right. That should be on a t-shirt, dude. They spawn in the Pridwin. Imagine you're sitting there playing Fallout 76 and some dude's hacking the game and putting in this sort of stuff. If I recall correctly from reading and looking at some of this crap, the hackers were using the Pridwin as a mobile base. Imagine that. Uh, man. Imagine you're loyal enough to still play this shit in December of 2019. Hancock makes it simple. Hancock, sorry. Uh. By saying, basically for people who don't understand, there is a code available. Code that you could just get off Google by searching for it that allows you to access what is essentially the dev console command console. Oh, you gotta love this person. Their tweet did blow up. The Young Yi got on it because Young Yi does everything. Fallout. I turned my back on Fallout. Maybe that was a mistake. I should have kept doing Fallout videos. Maybe I have a million subscribers by now. Well, I mean, this blew the fuck up. I don't have anything to plug. So, Cool Ranch or Ranch Cheese Doritos, which do you prefer? Gotta give it to Hancock's. The guy is a class act. Had nothing to plug, so he shows you which Dorito bag would you choose. Whenever a tweet blows up, usually the person sits there and goes, Here's my Discord. Here's my Instagram. Here's my YouTube. Here's my, like, uh, coffee. Here's my PayPal if you want to send me money. No, I don't want to send you money just because you had a popular tweet. Hancock is classy. Hancock also then does another tweet on the most recent Fallout failure. This is all in the span of one month, by the way. Literally, in one month, this has all happened. Hackers have now found a way to steal people's inventory. Polygon also had an article. Fallout 76 has been rocked by yet another major bug. 
that played out just before Christmas, hackers are able to open up inventory of another player and help themselves to everything within, as if the player was a loot chest. This is obviously a major problem, as the hackers could take everything a player had earned. One of the exploiters posted in a video of the hack in action, writing the video's description. A new hack was introduced earlier today that allows for stealing other players' entire inventory. Here's a little bit of some fun we had with it. So now, basically, if you're not... Wait, the private servers aren't even private. I was going to say, if you're not paying for the private servers, you're in trouble. But then you realize you're... If someone's in your friends list, they can still get into your private world. So basically, don't play Fall 76, period. <laughs> Honestly, if you're playing Fall 76, you deserve to get robbed. I'm done. I'm sorry. Listen, uh, unpopular opinion. It's like the New York subways back in the 90s and the 80s. It's like the bad parts of town. It's like going to an area you know is rife with robbery and murders and walking down the street dressed in a fur coat looking like Huggy Bear with a giant gold medallion on your chest, and then you wonder why someone is jacking you. For real. Why even bother playing this? Bethesda's responded with an update just a day before Christmas. We are investigating reports of the PC-only exploit that could be abused by cheaters, which may have resulted in a few players losing items and their characters equipped. We have been actively working towards a solution for this. Uh, fix currently evaluating release today. While we were determined that only a small number of characters have been negatively affected, we're taking this very seriously, yada, yada, yada. Everything that involves Fallout 76 is absolute garbage. And the fact that they haven't pulled the ripcord on this is amazing. It really is. I've seen people commit suicide for so much less, yet Bethesda just keeps putting this goddamn game out there. And to end it all, we have a fantastic tweet from Bethesda literally the 26th of December, right after the Christmas extravaganza for hacking. And I quote, 2019 is nearly over, and it was an amazingly busy year in Fallout 76. We're looking back at the adventures we had together and how thankful we are that you could continue the journey with us. Is this not like a tweet from D DSP after a stream, after a garbage stream where DSP has a boomer segment and he sits there and tells you about his life? Out of all the things I just mentioned, they're all amazing ways to contribute, and I'm grateful for every single one of them. Thank you anyone in advance who's even thinking of contributing today. Very matter-of-factly, the best way to contribute would be by tipping me, because tips I can use right away. I can put towards bills. I can, tomorrow when I go grocery shopping, I buy groceries with tips. I'm serious. Like, all the stuff that I usually spend money on is usually based off of tips. Today in particular, guys, again, I'm going to ask if you could tip me, please do. Reason being, past couple of days, uh, tips have been pretty slow. Or at least yesterday tips were very slow. And I, you know, I got my day off tomorrow, which is actually earlier than usual. So, you know, it's kind of tight right now. If you tip me today, it helps me out more than anything else. If you are considering contributing today and you can tip me, please do. I really need the, the tip support today uh, so that I can actually, you know, afford to actually do my errands and stuff tomorrow. Okay? So how do you tip me? Just a reminder, guys, if you want to help me out and please, you know, if you can today, please do. Please tip me. Um, like I said, yesterday tips were really, really light, and tomorrow I'm actually going out earlier than usual this week, so any tips you, you, you know, today are gonna directly help me, like, afford my groceries and stuff tomorrow, so please tip me if you can today, okay, guys? He's sitting here going, don't, don't ask questions about what my wife is doing, or where she's going, blah, 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 how dare you, I'm protecting my family. Then in the next breath, DSP turns around and goes, oh, man, you know, you, the, the contributions have been lean today. It's been real tough. You know, there's not enough money coming in. Like, are you for real, dude? Uh, like, uh, when you guys tip me, that money goes to, like, keeping the electric on and buying groceries. It's like, what are you doing? But then, as soon as like, he's guilting his fan base into, like, giving him money. Like, you know, if I don't get these tips, little Jasper the cat won't eat. And then the next minute, you check his Twitter... And this mf -er, because I'm trying not to curse that much, is sitting there going, It was an amazingly positive stream we had today, guys. We were on a great adventure in Mario World. But if you watch the VOD, the dude is telling you he's starving. Meanwhile, he's plump as a Christmas goose. But he wants you to think he's broke. And the same is here for Bethesda. The game is literally falling to pieces. And the goddamn Twitter account is like, we're having a blast. 2019 was a great year.
Never mind the fact that one helmet had asbestos and mold in it. Never mind the fact we tried to sell you Chinese plastic as a canvas bag. Don't you dare pay attention to the multitude of hacks, breaks, and all this other shit going on. Don't worry. Elder Scrolls is on the way. It's all looking up. Todd Howard 6-2. All is right with the world. And you can get mad at me if you want for not being in depth with this video, but frankly, I don't want to look at Fallout 76. This is a user request. God. <laughs> what have you done, Bethesda? You not only killed the goose that laid the golden egg, you cooked it. Then you set the house on fire that had the goose dinner in it. <laughs>